From April 12 to 18, 2025, myself, Antonio, Manuel, Kenya and Hao Yu had the incredible opportunity to organize and host the GSA Thompson Field Forum in Cuba, entitled The Geology of Cuba, Key to the Tectonic Evolution of the Caribbean and North American Plate. It was an unforgettable experience. We brought together around 40 participants from 10 countries that included experienced researchers, early career scientists, university students, and PhD candidates, representing a wide range of disciplines, backgrounds, and career stages. This is very unusual field forum because the breadth of disciplines and career stage and having Cuban scientists and particularly Cuban students participate. And so it's been very cool and interesting and, and dynamic. Be able to talk to many people with different background and expertise is a very great chance to show the observation and then discuss. Funded by the Geological Society of America, these meetings create a global community of geoscientists who learn share and debate with the rocks themselves as the only classroom. One of the things I would hope will come from this is that um, more scientists want to come to Cuba and think about what we know, and I've been seeing people collecting samples from sediment and rock, and I think this will lead to some fruitful partnerships between geoscientists in a bunch of corners of the world. The event took place entirely in the field, with evening discussions to reflect on the discoveries made during the day. We selected key localities to offer a complete section. We started with the past Maya sequences in, in the Rio region, in Western Cuba, in the Vinales Valley, offering the Mesozoic uh, section of the, this passive margin, the Jurassic sandstones and carbonates, Cretaceous carbonates, and in particular also the KT boundary, which is very well exposed in this uh, region. Then we moved to Central Cuba, and there we offered the geology of the mostly the oceanic part which has been accredited to these uh, passive margins of the North American plate. These are the ophiolites, which in this particular case in Central Cuba, in the Santa Clara region, they are melanges made of uh, both shallow uh, lithosphere components, such as uh, the banded gabbros of the lower oceanic crust, but also high pressure rocks like eclogites in the, that were incorporated from the Sunducer Channel during the Cretaceous. Then we move to the volcanic arc section, starting with the shallowest uh, part and going deeper and deeper and deeper during the, uh, along the whole section up to the earliest uh, Cretaceous sections. We also included within this volcanic arc section a metamorphic complex that is part of the arc, volcanic arc, but is uh, the Mauhina and Fibolite complex which is, as, as I said, is uh, part of this section. And finally, we arrive to the uh, passive margin sequ sequences that are represented in the Scambrai, a rather complex geological body with a lot of different uh, metamorphic rocks, schist, uh, marbles, eclogites, and so on, blue schist. And then we finally arrive to the city of uh, Trinidad.